Welcome back, guys, for my next episode of Spyro. I mean, Spyro 3. Year of the Dragon. you to the great tiki lodge in the sky. Just jump on when you're ready. Hop in the balloon whenever you want, Spyro. I guess you just hop in the balloon now. Don't ask me how it works. I just showed up for the punch and cookies. <laughs> this balloon will take you to a land closer to the sorcerer, Spyro. You can also use it to come back here whenever you want to. Let's go to Merry Guardians. Yahoo! Mm. Bianca strikes back. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I've tried to scare him off, Your Highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him. Kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him. Okay, let's see what we got here. This ought to do it. You, come here. That was one big monster, guys. That monster. When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. I was talking about that green monster.
situation. Think we helps you uh Again. What does she want? Okay, Dragon. You've managed to survive longer than I expected. But you haven't the slightest idea what sort of dangers lie ahead of you. I suggest you grab your cat friend and whatever eggs you found and hightail it back home while you still can. I'm telling you this for your own good, you know. <laughs> Hey, Joseph, thief, you you in, in, you're in trouble, blue thief. Yup, yeah, two thousand ten. Did you believe it? Two thousand ten, huh? You like the year one? And plus it innocent, listen. And you and you you in trouble, thief, and you know it. Coward. For the next episode, guys, I'll see you next time.